Let's go ahead and do problem number 11. There are six members on a board of directors. If they must elect a chairperson, a secretary, and a treasurer, how many different slates of candidates are possible? Okay, so we have six total people on the board of the directors, and we want to select a chair, a secretary, and a treasurer. And we want to know how many different ways can we do this. So there are two ways to do this. One method is to use stack crunch. So this is a permutations problem because the positions are different. So it would be 6P3. You have six people, and you want to choose two, of, three of them, and the order matters because the positions are different. In stack crunch, the command is perm 63. By the way, this is not how I do it. I'll show you how I do it in a second. I just wanted to show you this way first. So data, compute, expression, and then perm 63. A lot of people like doing it this way. So you get 120 because you know you do it in stack crunch and it's like yeah okay if I'm doing it in stack crunch it's got to be right <laughs> so here's how I do it it's a little bit different so the way I do it is I say okay there's three positions one two three all right so how many ways can we pick the first position of chair well if there's six people total there's six ways to pick the chair okay we've picked the chair so how many ways can we pick the secretary well we've already picked the chair so there's five people left so five ways to pick the secretary and now there are four ways left to pick the treasure. The number of ways to pick all three is the product by the multiplication rule. So this is equal to 120. So that's how I do it. Um, that way I don't have to use stack crunch. You can always do problems like this if it's permutations. So if it's permutations, you can always do this and you don't have to use stack crunch. So if it's combinations, you definitely want to use stack crunch. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.